We're in the Jefferson River Canyon, not far from Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park. That's the Jefferson River, and according to page 163 of Roadside Geology, it's an antecedent stream. That means it was here before those hills were here. Those hills have pushed up over time, changing the route of the river over millions of years. So you see, Roadside Geology is definitely a book about geology, but it's more than that. It's a comprehensive history of the nation's fourth largest state. The, the, the thing that's different about your history, though, is it's changing right now. It, Lewis and Clark is etched in time. That right. doesn't change. Right. Their time period is easy to track. We right. know when that happened. Right now, as we speak, the book you've written in a minuscule way, maybe, is already yes. changing. Correct. And, and that's got to be really interesting yeah. to think about as well, because it, is. It, this is, is, it doesn't feel like it in our right. 75 years, as you mentioned, but it's changing. It, yes. it's, you, you might not be able to see it, but a couple of generations later, your great grandkids maybe will. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and some of that change, probably a lot of it is actually human change. So mm -hmm. that uh, I might have written about, well, this is a good example. Um, you know, you write about something uh, along a roadside, and then all of a sudden that roadside disappears because they have redone it. Mm. <laughs> right. And right. boom, that spot's gone. <laughs> uh, and so that's kind of one of my worst nightmares, actually, sure. is, uh, is the Montana Department of Transportation uh, taking away my good roadside uh, spots. Uh, but <laughs> Uh, so far, so good. Uh, and then, you know, the other thing that changes, uh, the world is changing, you're right, minusculely um, mm -hmm. in very small ways. Nat natural processes are happening very slowly and mm -hmm. changing very slowly. Um, but they also happen, you know, in a big way too. So that if uh, a big landslide occurs and, mm -hmm. you know, that's something new now that has occurred that's not covered in the book. Uh, a big earthquake occurs uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, we have uh, an event that, you know, maybe affects a, a community like Butte or, or uh, Bozeman, right? Mm -hmm. um, both communities right up against big active faults um, with the, you know, the Continental Fault and Butte and the Bridger Fault and Bozeman, mm -hmm. um, Paradise Valley, other places, you know, uh, Missoula, you know, very few people recognize that sent the Mount Sentinel, you know, is a, you know, a uh, big active normal fault and the valley is dropping and right. the potential for a very large earthquake is definitely there. Um, the other thing is, is that the time, uh, the geological time provides perspective in that uh, I could scare people and say, you know, you know, yes, you're living in a place where you could have a seven and a half magnitude earthquake. But we also know that the frequency of those is, is uh, over thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And so the probability of it happening in a human lifetime is extremely low. Mm -hmm. And so this is an important part of science uh, mm -hmm. as well. And, and I was very cognizant of that writing the book is to mm -hmm. not use language and, and so on that would make a person feel uh, afraid of the it's natural not environment. It's not gloom and doom. It's not doom and gloom, right. It's, and it's, it, there's a need to have perspective over the probabilities of, mm -hmm. of these things happening. Mm -hmm. They do happen, um, but they, they're, you know, they're, they're probabilities. So you know, a good example of that is the write-up on Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, we talk about the possibility of what a Yellowstone eruption would look like in Montana, mm -hmm. but at the very end of that section, I made it very crystal clear that the probabilities are extremely low. Roadside Geology of Montana is by far the largest of the Roadside Geology series. It's not only that, it's the only one to be recognized and awarded as a piece of literature. Tomorrow, we'll talk to Rob Thomas about that award. In the Jefferson River Canyon near Lewis and Clark Caverns, Chet Lehman, MTN News.